Nickel State University has had a yearbook ever since the university first opened its doors in 1948. This fall will be the last potential issue of the yearbook. The university has decided to eliminate the $10 access fee that funds the Lapirog yearbook. Lapirog editor Holland Millay says that she projects to publish and distribute the 2017 issue of the Lapirog in October. She explains the process. Both the Lapirog and the Nicholsworth have been working together um, to contact students. We went to the SGA meeting on um, the 6th and we spoke on the behalf of student media um, about them taking the yearbook fund away and how students had no say so in it. We're looking into other models that where students can directly purchase a yearbook online and it come here and they could pick it up, but we're not sure yet because we don't have much time. This fall is potentially the last issue of the Lapirog and it's causing quite concern amongst the students. The yearbook is supposed to be a year in review. So I'm supposed to look back and see everything that happened from the previous year when I do get my yearbook. And I'm in a fraternity, so I like to see our composite pictures and everything we were up to and what the other fraternities and sororities were up to in the yearbook. The thing about yearbooks is that they're a year in review and you can always look back to every single year that Nichols has had. And you can always look back on like what activities were held, what socials were, like what happened at socials, like you know how much fun everybody's having, how much everybody loves Nichols. And in a way, you could say that the yearbook is one of the most prideful things Nichols has about our campus. Be sure to contact SGA about any of your yearbook questions. Reporting for KNSU-TV, this is Desmond Hunter.